This video shows how to install the Atomic Web Interface or AWI. Atomic's UI is web enabled, which means you can access AE from any workstation with a browser and the proper credentials. We need a web server, although a self contained option is also supported. We'll discuss this in a moment. We'll copy the web interface directory from the install package and then install Tomcat, which is open source and multi platform. If you currently support another web server, you can probably use that instead but check the documentation to make sure it's supported. Note that Atomic offers two different approaches. The first is the application server like Tomcat or WebSphere and the AWI Web Archive package. The second is an Atomic standalone solution called the Embedded Jetty server. We'll use option one because it's more in line with the legacy of previous versions. Also, we're working with the assumption that most customers already maintain web servers and will discard option two. Ultimately, the choice of method is yours, the configuration steps are basically the same, only the location of the configuration file differs. AWI is impacted by TLS because it connects to the automation engine. The key store created for AE contains the public-private key pair. We'll return to the key store and export a certificate with the public key. Components like AWI and the agents use this key to comply with AE's TLS security requirements. The certificate is stored locally on the AWI host. Then we'll install the AWI Web Archive in Tomcat's Web Apps directory. If the web server is started, the WAR package is unarchived and expanded into a directory AWI's file system. We'll be able to access uc4config.xml, AWI's configuration file. We'll set the system name, connection settings, and TLS settings. Finally, we start Tomcat, which starts AWI. A connection is immediately established with AE. We fire up a browser and log into AE with the administrator credentials. In the architecture diagram, we're installing AWI, which connects to AE using settings defined in the file uc4config.xml. We also create a TLS certificate to ensure proper encryption and authentication. We're also installing the Apache Tomcat web server. This is a brand new system. As for all components, we're assuming slash opt slash atomic has been created. Java has been configured, and the Atomic install package is available. We've also created a slash opt slash Atomic slash web interface directory. We won't show any of these steps, this should be understood. We're going to copy the contents of the web interface directory from the install package to the web interface directory in the Atomic file system. Then we download Tomcat from the Apache website. Obviously, we do this behind the scenes. We unzip the package and then copy from the downloads directory to slash opt slash atomic. Tomcat requires some configuration. We have to create a setenv.sh file. This sets the environment for Tomcat when it starts. We also need a Catalina underscore opts variable, which contains settings for the Apache JVM. We also set the Tomcat home directory variable in Etsy profile. Obviously, the version of Tomcat should be reflected in the file path. To start Tomcat, we simply execute startup.sh. We start in the install package, we copy the contents of web interface to a web interface directory in slash opt slash atomic. The bin directory contains Tomcat startup and shutdown files. Web applications get deployed to the web apps directory, so we copy the AWI war package there.
AWI needs a TLS certificate containing the public key. This key is required by AWI to connect to AE. We use Keystore Explorer on our Windows desktop to retrieve our key store and generate a certificate. We copy the certificate file on the AWI host. As we've done this in the past, we store the certificate in the TLS directory in slash opt slash atomic. We copy the certificate to a TLS directory on the AWI host. We have to copy the awi.war package to the web apps directory of Tomcat. Provided the web server is started, the AWI application deploys immediately. An AWI directory is created and contains the file system. uc4config.xml is AWI's configuration file. It contains a number of important connection settings. Note that an even quicker way to deploy AWI is to use the embedded Jetty server. The process is almost the same, except you don't need Tomcats. You simply configure uc4config.xml in the config directory directly in this location, and then execute aa-webui-launcher.jar in Java. We've taken the more conventional web server approach for a number of reasons. First, this is how AWI was deployed in previous versions when the Jetty server was not an option. Second, most of our customers will already have a web server and most of them support AWI. You just copy the AWI war package in the web apps equivalents and the remainder of the procedure is the same. This is the code snippets. First, we copy the AWI war package into Tomcat's web apps directory. Provided Tomcat is started, an AWI file system is created and AWI deploys. The configuration file also needs to be renamed, but the procedure is slightly different. UC4config.xml is called .xml.sample. We head to the config directory and copy the file without sample in its name. Finally, we configure UC4config.xml. Here are the required settings. First, we need the connections tag with the trusted folder option. We set this to the location of the TLS certificate, slash opt slash atomic slash TLS in double quotes. The certificate could also be loaded in Java CA certs, but we won't get into this now. We recommend taking the TLS course available in our catalog. There's a connection name. This can be any string. We recommend not changing this. We also need the system name. This is very important. If you think back to the video on the automation engine, we had to set a system name in ucsrv.ini. It should reflect the reality of your environment, say prod versus test. We have to set the same system name for AWI to connect. Finally, we set the connection settings for JCP which is the starting point for TLS components to connect to AE. AWI agents and analytics connect to AE via the JCP using the port we set with the setting ws.port. AWI is configured, so we restart Tomcat. You can then connect to AE over a simple web browser. The URL should be the AWI host name, the default 8080 Tomcat port, slash AWI. We'll log into the application using the default administrator credentials at installation. User, department, and password are all uppercase UC.